Hi, my name is Joel Labava, and I'm the Franchise King. Today, I want to talk about the pros and cons of working from home, of owning a business that is home-based. Before I get started, make sure you subscribe with the red button right underneath the video if you're on YouTube, and click the bell if you want to get notified immediately when I put up uh, new video content. So, my office is home-based. I have a home-based office. You're, you're looking at it now. It's in my castle. It's in one of the rooms, one of the many rooms. Um, you don't need to know which one. I want to kind of keep that under the radar. Uh, years ago, when I was a franchise consultant, when I was a broker, when I was a matchmaker, uh, my late father and I had an office on a, on a busy, busy street in a main small business uh, district. And um, uh, we met people in person. As things evolved with the internet, um, that became increasingly unnecessary to have an office and meet people face to face. So uh, now uh, I work from home and I work with people uh, who want to buy franchises, but I do it on the phone or via video with Skype or Zoom or something like that. And I've worked with people all over the world. So that's kind of cool. Now, as I said, there are some pros and cons if you want to work out of the house. Let me go over the pros first. One of them is you can work anytime you want. And I do work anytime I want. For example, if I wake up at four in the morning, I can't sleep, I'm tossing a turn and I have, I have a, an article due, or I, f I come up with an idea for a topic, I can just come in the office and start typing away. Softly, of course, I don't want to wake up the other residents here. Uh, also, one of the other pros is that uh, I could run errands as needed. If uh, something needs to be picked up at Home Depot, I can sneak out and go pick it up and, and I don't have to do it on a Saturday or a Sunday, which is, you know, which are the normal days that people do it. And they're so busy. The, 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 the stores are so busy on the weekends. So that's, that's definitely a pro. Um, I can watch live news events as they happen. Uh, there is a pro to that because I know what's going on. And I can definitely, like, share it with, with, with you. Um, uh, so that's kind of cool. Uh, but, you know... I, I can get sucked in and all of a sudden find myself uh, looking at the clock and two hours have passed. And I, and I was so into what news was happening that I forgot that I had to do stuff related to making money. Uh, another really cool thing, uh, especially if you live in, in the great white north of the United States, uh, I'm in Cleveland, Ohio, the rock and roll capital of the world. Uh, the sun is very important because it's not out as much as in the southern climate zones. So I can take 15, 20 minute vitamin D breaks and just go sit out in the sun for 15 or 20 minutes. I can bring my smartphone with me so I, I can look at the phone, read articles, I can talk to people, whatever it is, so I, I can sneak away. That's really, really nice. A lot of people cannot do that. Now, there are some cons to working out of the house. One of them is I can get easily distracted. Let's add a bonus to that. I have. ADD, attention, and defi attention Deficit Disorder, so I can get distracted anyway. Add to that that I'm working out of my home and, and the distractions seem to be sometimes nonstop, including when Bear, who's also Franchise Dog on Twitter, you can follow him. He's actually sitting over there right now, you can't see him. Sometimes I'll be working and he walks up right next to me, right next to my desk, and <laughs> stares at me. He'll just like stare me down. It's like, dude, what do you want? Well, since he can't talk, I have to assume that he wants to go outside, wants to take a walk, wants me to throw toys so he can run around like a nut. Or maybe even he wants to sit in the sun, which is a frequent spring and summer thing for him. So I get up and I have to go do that. Of course, it's my pleasure, but if I'm really, really focusing on an article that I'm writing, um, it's, it's distracting. Uh, also, because I work out of the house, Family members know that I work out of the house, and sometimes they may ask me to do things like maybe take them to the doctor, stuff in the daytime, Monday through Friday that happens. And I don't mind doing it, but it's really, really, it's an interruption that um, even though I can plan for the interruption, and, and as I said, I don't mind doing it, it kind of can ruin my rhythm because it turns into a two, two and a half hour ordeal, and I get back, and if it's in the morning, I get back, I can have lunch, and before I know it, it's one o'clock and, you know, the lunchtime blahs is hitting me and I, I, I don't know. Maybe I'll just go outside and cut the lawn 
or take a long walk or sit outside for longer than I wanted to because my motivation is kind of lost. So you have to be really careful if you're going to work out of the house. Distractions, um, uh, they happen. Of course, there's the distractions that are in my head because there's stuff that all of us have to do around the house that needs to be done, whether, as I said, it's cutting the lawn. Um, you know, there's a pile of laundry that I know is sitting in the other room. You know, maybe I can, you know, be nice to my wife and my daughter and put it in. And, you know, it's one less thing for them to do when they get back, when they get home from work. Uh, the thing is, especially with ADD, is I'll put the load in and then, like, I'll be writing and it'll be two hours later. Oh, there's a load in. So they go downstairs, put it in the dryer, and then the same thing happens. So it's just in the dryer for an hour and a half, then I have to redry it. So it's, it's up and down from my desk, from my seat, doing that kind of stuff because I wanted to, and, and it's for a good reason, but it turned into something that I probably could have done later. Stuff like that happens, you know? Um, because you work out of the house, you may feel guilty about the, the, you know, some of the chores that need to be done. And you figure if you're a nice person, well, I'm at home anyway, you know, why don't I just go kind of polish the furniture? Uh, boy, you know, the garage really needs to be cleaned. I mean, this stuff is a reality. The bottom line is this, you have to realize that there are going to be distractions, whether they're, they're, they're self distractions because you know, stuff has to be done or other people know that you're working out of the house and they ask you to do stuff. So, you know, you can, you can do it one of two ways. You can be really tough and say, look, you know, 8.30 to 4 o'clock, I am at my desk. I'm working. I can't be bothered. Um, please don't ask me to, to, to help you with stuff. This is to family members and friends, obviously. Or you can be kind of loosey-goosey like I am and say, sure, you know, if you really need something, I'll help. That's no problem. It's my pleasure doing it. I'm not a bad human being. I, I'll help when I can. But I know that it ends up hurting me sometimes because it gets me off of my game. It's just stuff that I want you to think about. Now, there are franchise opportunities around where you can work out of the house too, uh, like business coaching. Um, there are some business to business type things that you can do where your office is at the house, but unless you're not working with a client, you're not really there because clients need you, you need to leave, okay? So home base may not necessarily mean that you're gonna be at home a lot. I wanted to throw that in there. There are service franchise opportunities you know, window cleaning, uh, uh, things like that where you don't really need to have an office outside of the home unless you want to. So you can work out of the house, but you may not be home a lot. So there, there are opportunities where you work from home and you're really doing a lot of work from home. And there are opportunities which are home office based, but you're not really working at home as much because, you know, you're out and about. You may do paperwork at home and reports and some writing, but in general, you're not home that much. So if you're going to work from home, realize what, what type of uh, uh, opportunity it is and, and make sure that you are disciplined enough to be able to focus on work. Okay. One more thing. The good thing about working from, from home, like, like what I do is that I can work all the time, anytime, but I can end up working so much that I blow off my family. And, and, you know, they want my attention too. So you have to find a happy medium. And, and that's something that I need to work on, admittedly. So I hope I helped somewhat. If you have any questions about what it's really like to work out of the house, drop me an email, joel at thefranchiseking.com. That's joel at thefranchiseking.com. If you have any questions about working out of the house, what, what are franchise opportunities that are home base that you need help with, whatever you need, joel at thefranchiseking.com. And always check out my website and my blog, thefranchiseking.com and thefranchiseking.com forward slash blog. Lots of useful articles. Thanks for watching. I'm the Franchise King, Joel Lavala.